Well, after a mild and pleasant day, things are going to heat up for you. It was a nice little break while it lasted, Kate. It was. It almost mm. made you feel like fall was on the horizon. Sure it was almost feeling like football weather out there. Not anymore. We are headed right back to summer, fully jumping in with both feet back into the deep end as temperatures start to head back to the 90s again. We're going to feel the heat kick up a little bit tomorrow, but the worst of it will be next week. So current conditions outside right now as we look live at Center City, it feels all right. It's, it's a warm night in Philadelphia. It's still 74, but some spots have already dropped to the 60s. Trenton's at 69. Wilmington still 74. Atlantic City's at 70. 72 in Millville. 66 in Allentown. And 58 in Mount Pocono. But skies are clear. Today was such a much nicer day, especially down the shore than what we had yesterday. Looking ahead through the overnight hours in the city, we'll see temperatures drop to the upper 60s tomorrow morning. That is seasonable. We've been below average the past few days. Tomorrow we're right on target for early August, 72 at 8 a.m. And then by noon, it's already 85 degrees. So tomorrow, really from start to finish, we'll average about 5 degrees warmer than today. Storm Scan 3 is showing the front. That system that brought the clouds and the drizzle down the shore, the cold east winds, now moving out to sea. We have cleared things out. There may be a stray sprinkle that tries to creep into Lancaster County if they make it there. Otherwise, it is quiet tonight. 68 degrees, mainly clear mild, quiet, with a calm wind. Tomorrow, definitely feeling like an August hot summer day. It does steam up a little bit. Now, the humidity is still not terrible tomorrow. Dew points may climb to the low 60s. That's still not bad for the time of year, so we're not talking about any dangerous heat or anything like that. And we're only about 4 degrees above average, but definitely feeling more like summer tomorrow. Sunny, hot, and steamy at 91 degrees. It's a beautiful day down the shore, though, because a sea breeze will likely pick up in the afternoon. We may briefly climb to the 80s and then right back into the 70s we go later in the day. Great, great day on the beach, almost making up for what we had yesterday. Today, tomorrow, some fantastic weather down the shore. Future weather shows dry conditions tomorrow. Now, over the weekend, there may be a couple of spotty shower and storm chances. You can see more clouds here on Saturday afternoon. I'm not all that impressed by the thunderstorm chances this weekend. There may be a stray one here or there with the heat and humidity, but you can see even Sunday, most of the rain chances are off to the south. There may be a pop-up storm, but we're looking at generally less than 20% chance of precipitation over the weekend. So I wouldn't cancel any plans because of it. Just Keep an eye to the sky if that pop up storm happens to pop up right where you are. Have an alternate plan where you can move indoors. Next week, with the heat and humidity ramping up as well, we will see those rain chances back up to about 25%. Again, nothing organized, really, just the heat and humidity, the heating of the day that could drive the chance of an isolated thunderstorm. And speaking of heat and humidity, it is on next week, 91 Monday. The worst of it looks to be Tuesday and Wednesday. That's when highs climb to the 90s. You know, this time of the year, 87 is our normal. So over the weekend and even tomorrow, we're still pretty close to average. But when you get to 94, mm -hmm. with heat index values in the triple digits, that's when you start talking about dangerous heat and possibly mm -hmm. some excessive heat warnings. You sure do. All right, Kate, be careful. Thank you.